Lilia, my wife, was dead. My children were gone. Helgen was burnt down by a dragon that had appeared from nowhere, attacked the town, and killed, killed everyone before anyone got to safety. I pulled one man out of the cave, a storm cloak, Raylov. He told me what had happened. Part of me just wanted to stay up there. Close to my family, I guess. And die. Part of me didn't know what to do. So I just followed him. On the way to Riverwood, he kept going on and on about the Stormcloaks, the Rebellion, Ulfric. I barely heard him. All I felt was sorrow. Soon enough, we arrived in Riverwood. A dragon! I saw a dragon! What? What is it now, Mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Please, Mother. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all and then you'll believe me. The old woman was more right than she ever knew. Murder, I'm fine. At least now I am. Are you hurt? What's happened? And who is this? One of your comrades? Not a comrade yet. A friend. I owe him my life, in fact. Is there somewhere we can talk? There's no telling when the news from Helgen will reach the Imperials. Helgen? Has something happened? You're right. Follow me. Hod, come here a minute. I need your help with something. What is it, woman? Stand drunk on the job again? Hod, just come here. Raylo, what are you doing here? Ha, I'll be right down. Uncle Raylo, can I see your axe? How many Imperials have you killed? Do you really know Ulfric Stormcloak? Hush, Frodnar. This is no time for your games. Go and watch the South Road. Come find us if you see any Imperial soldiers coming. Aw, Mama. I want to stay and talk with Uncle Raylo. Look at you. Almost a grown man. Won't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Raylo. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. Now, Rayla, what's going on? You two look pretty well done in. I can't remember when I last slept. Where to start? Well, the news you heard about Ulfric was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was... Uh, two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning. And I thought it was all over. Had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards! They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then, out of nowhere, the dragon attacked. You don't mean a real live... I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerda, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. 
If there is anything else you need, just let me know. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure if uh, Yulik would have been that uh, tuned in into the fight, but uh, I gotta give a whole lot of kudos to a uh, player head tracking mod. <laughs> that, that was that was unbelievable. Um. Normally, normally I think Yulik would just just take everything uh, in a situation like this, but uh, right at this moment. Mm, no. Just nothing. Maybe something to eat. There is something you could do for me. For all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Thanks, sister. I knew we could count on you. I ought to get back to work before I missed, but did anyone else escape? Did Ulfric? Don't worry. I'm sure he made it out. It will take more than a dragon to stop Ulfric Stormcloak. I'll let them into the house and, you know, show them where everything is. Hmm. Help them drink up our mead, you mean? Good luck, brother. I'll see you later. Don't worry about me. I know how to lay low. Well, the mead sounds pretty darn good for uh, Yulik right now. Taking the word to White Run. In many ways, Yulik wants to go after the dragon, but right now I think he's uh, kind of paralyzed. He. Uh, doesn't know what to do. The feelings, feelings are so mixed. The feelings of guilt. Not being able to save his family. Not even given the chance. Then on the other hand, part of him understands that if he would have arrived earlier, he would probably be dead as well. They would have not left Helgen, even with the Imperials and uh, whole operation they are going on they would have not left this fast but still of course the sadness is great and um, thought of uh, thought of fighting the dragon getting getting yet another vengeance is uh, is something on Yulik's mind but not just yet. Make yourself at home. And that's exactly what Yulik will do. Drown his sorrows into a puddle. Or two. Or maybe even three. Take the helmet off and enjoy some meat and some wine and some more wine. What happened later that day on the days that followed, it's all a bit blurry to Yulik. Very blurry. Yulik was angry. Angry at himself. Angry at the world. Oh, shut up. He broke several tables and chairs. At the tavern, got himself into trouble. I just want to drink. Uh, 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 <laughs> Something he had to pay the price for. Almost everything he had, even the horse. But afterwards, Julik was happy. He had to let some steam go. <laughs> <laughs> 